what we're going to do is remember when we were using this chart, we separate the moles to molecules and we treat it as if it's a, you know, a set of uh, ratios. And we treat that as if it's an equal sign. So what we're going to do is we are going to find out sodium to sodium chloride to find out how many moles of sodium chloride are going to form okay, using the uh, mole, uh, the number of moles of sodium. So we've got okay, x over 0 0.361 equals 2 over 2. All right? So 2 over 2 becomes 1 over 1. And when we bring the 0 0.361 over, right, so the number of moles are equal to one another, 0 0.361 moles. So if we have 0 0.631 moles of sodium, we're also going to have 0 0.61 moles of sodium chloride. Okay. But we're going to do the same thing now, but now it's not sodium to sodium chloride. It's going to be chloride to sodium chloride. Or sorry, chlorine gas to sodium chloride. So we have X over 0 0.197 equals how many molecules we have is 2 over 1. So when we bring the point not 197 over, we've got X moles of uh, sodium chloride is equal to 0 0.197 times 2 over 1, which will give me 0 0.394 moles of NaCl. Okay. So look at how many moles of NaCl we will produce using that much sodium. This much and this much. Which one will run out first? Hmm? The sodium. Because the sodium is going to produce less moles of sodium chloride. So do we all get it? We, when we calculate the number of moles of each one, which one is lower? This one is the lower one between the two. Which means sodium is going to run out before chlorine does. Because chlorine is making so many more moles of sodium chloride. But really, we're not going to be able to do that because this is where it ends. Okay, So this is the number of moles of sodium chloride that we are actually going to make, or theoretically going to make. Okay. Which means we don't need that. So, we know that the limiting reactant, okay, the limiting reactant is sodium, which means when sodium runs out, the reaction ends. Okay. And we are only going to produce 0 0.361 moles of sodium chloride, but we don't want that. We want to find out the mass, theoretical mass, of sodium chloride. So what do we do now? We multiply this by? By the molar mass of? Sodium chloride. Okay. So we're going to multiply it by the molar mass of sodium chloride. So, when we do that, so we get 0 0.361 moles times the molar mass of sodium chloride, which is 58.5 grams per mole. Moles cancel out, and I'm left with 21.1 grams of NaCl. So 21.1 grams of NaCl is what? It's the theoretical mass of sodium chloride. Okay. 
That's the theoretical. Okay. Theoretical. Now, to find the, the percentage yield, what are we going to do? We're going to divide the actual, right, 19.5 grams by the theoretical, 21.1 grams. Grams cancel out. We're going to multiply it by 100. And we get a, the uh, percentage yield of? 92.4. So 92.4. Percent, right? We want three significant digits. So, is that a good percentage? Have we uh, were were we able to obtain a lot of the uh, the product? Yes. Yeah. 